Hi everybody, welcome to Be Pinky. My name is Alicia. Today I'm creating uh, just a speed drawing of my Nina character. She is a, a character I play in Dungeons and Dragons. She is a gnome wizard, uh, abjuration wizard actually. Uh, so I started creating her. I try to create all of my D&D characters. I do have a lot of them. Uh, I may show others if anybody actually enjoys this. <laughs> um, but I do cr try to create an image of them uh, that I draw myself. So I'm actually kind of deciding what she is at this point. So in the beginning, I was thinking she might just be a human. And then I was thinking that she would be either a half elf or an elf. I tend to play a lot of small characters, so either halflings or gnomes. Uh, but gnome wizard is kind of my most favorite thing to play. So I decided that after a long time of not playing gnome wizards, because I haven't played one in a while, I thought, you know what? Guilty pleasure, I'm going to play a gnome wizard. So I'm sketching it all out here. You can actually see I did a sketch and now I'm doing another sketch on top of that sketch. Um, and I just, you know, I'm just kind of going back and forth, making sure that it looks okay. It definitely, I mean, my sketches, I find they always, I always think that they're going to look better than they do, but they go through a transformation. I think they wind up better than they started for sure. Uh, my biggest problem is hands, of course. And I think in this case, yeah, I, th I already have. I just copied and pasted the one hand that I liked the most. The other one kind of looked like she was waiting for someone to kiss her hand and that wasn't really uh, what I was looking for. Uh, so now I'm just kind of sketching in her clothing. I've got, uh, I don't even know, like a huge Pinterest board that I usually kind of go to and decide what I want um, my character to wear or look like or have. In this case, I don't remember if I did. I think the only thing I really looked up was an animal. I really wanted her to have a pet for some reason. Uh, so you'll see here I tried doing like an owl and that just, I, I don't do owls apparently. Uh, and then I, I really kind of got on the, the bandwagon of her being a gnome at this point as well, which is why I decided to create like this huge bag for her. Um, and I thought, you know, it'd be a normal size bag, but on a gnome it's bigger. So that was kind of my thinking behind it, especially with a character that's just kind of floating. It can be hard to show height. Um, so anyway, I did decide she is kind of a, a tall gnome, but I tried a few things. I don't really know what the wraparound dealio is or was. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I think it just kind of gave her like a little kind of mystical vibe. Uh, in the end, I just decided to go for almost like a, like a Xena warrior princess skirt, I guess, kind of reminds me of that. And then I knew that I needed a cape. Uh, I wanted to do a hood, but I didn't want to cover up her hair. So I ended up doing just like a little back cape thing. Uh, and then, so here's where I start drawing. I don't even know what it, this is. I don't know if it's a weasel or, I think it's a weasel or like a ferret, something like that. And I just, with gnomes, they can talk to small creatures. So I kind of just think it's cute that they have a little pet, something that's not going to like get in the way and something I would need to take a lot of care of. Uh, in the end, I just wasn't really feeling it. I did find like a little... Uh, a picture on Pinterest that I really liked of it and I thought it was cute. I just couldn't get it to work. Um, so I, I think I do, yeah, I like move it around a bit and then I do end up just kind of removing it. I just couldn't really figure it out. Um, and then I add some scrolls. With this wizard, I know she's going to be very academic. Uh, the whole, um, the campaign started actually at the school that she was learning magic with. So I knew she was going to be academic, which is why I kind of had the scrolls there in the big backpack. I really wanted to lean into that. Most of my wizards are more like a rogue, I guess. So they're a little bit more tricky, whereas she's very much so book learning type thing. Um, so yeah. And now I'm just inking. Um, yeah, not, not too, too much to say about that. It's probably my least favorite part when it comes to doing any kind of drawing is the inking unless it's something like a doodle I don't mind inking doodles because they're quick and easy and fast and 
Um, I mean, they can be not perfect when it comes to something like this. I want it to look a little bit better, so I always kind of try a little bit harder, and it can be a little bit frustrating for me. Um, but yeah, so once I've got the inking done, I think this is where I kind of am like, you know what, I I, I was really not liking that uh, weasel, but I thought I'll give it a I'll give it a go. I'll try and color it. Um, I really wanted her to have like bright hair, which is why I went with the red. And then I thought, you know what? No, let's try like a pink because I do like pink hair. And then I think I end up going, I think she ends up having like a teal kind of hair. Um, but I tried to keep the outfit, well, I tried to keep the image in general. And actually anytime I do any kind of character, I try to limit the palette so that it seems cohesive and makes sense. Um, which is why you saw, like, I kind of block out my colors first so that I know this is where the dark brown goes. So I don't have a lot of things overlapping. So that's what I had done. Uh, most things I try and take some kind of color from somewhere. I am trying to color the weasel. I really do want to make it work, but it just doesn't. So I eat it out of there. And this is pretty much it. I'm getting very close to the end of it. I do some like finishing touches. I add a lot of, I like solid white highlights on, I don't know, just in general. And then I always, I shade generally with like a color that was in there. So I probably took like the brown or the, um, like the ready brown of the line art. And I would have used that to shade and just lower the opacity. I don't, I don't really do a lot when it comes to shading. I just kind of like the minimalist kind of look and I think whenever it's kind of semi-realistic it works. I I feel like I remember being very proud of this hair when I did it. I don't generally do short hair on my characters. I really don't like coloring hair. Uh, so I think I did okay with this one. I was pretty proud with how it turned out. Um, but that's pretty much it for her. I do some more shading and then she's done. I like to add some like little bubbles behind and things like that, but for all intents and purposes, this is Nina, my gnome wizard uh, who practices, abju practices abjuration uh, and really likes to learn. Uh, so <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy this one, if you enjoy seeing me create uh, this kind of a character and not just my little doodles, please let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to add more of my images, uh, more of my, my characters. But until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.